Are you feeling lonely in Dublin? Is the winter too cold for you to meet people? Well, in this video we will go through an option to meet people from all over the world in Dublin, the capital of Ireland. So if you are interested, stay till the end because it's gonna be fun. Hello YouTube, my name is Mark. Welcome to my channel. I am here with the person to blame about all we have here around us, this meetup, Eric. Actually, we did a video for my Spanish YouTube channel, but today Eric told me like, come on, let's do an, a video in English. So tell us, Eric. Okay, thanks. Thank you very much, Mark, for coming and for making this video. So, uh, well, this is uh, the whole meetup. Right now we are hosting the most, uh, the biggest event, let's say, about all of those, the international meetup. Uh, basically, I'm hosting different kind of events, such as uh, international meetups, uh, language exchange, table tournaments, tournaments, or something parties. Uh, the mainly goal for this is to make people to connect, establishing connections, friendships, uh, world mates, maybe in the future, and uh, yeah, basically the, the main idea is to get social and making people having fun for all of them. I'm Blanca and I'm from Spain. I hear in your video, I saw it, so I wanted to, I decided to come here to try and I like it so far. Like I wanted, because I found like here in Dublin, I've been here just for three weeks. And I find like hard to meet like uh, Irish people, and I wanted to like speak English because I have just met Spanish people, and I wanted to just get more speak more English also, and I liked it actually because I mean there's people from everywhere. It's so well organized, and I mean it's so frequent. I'm every Saturday, so I like that. Like you, if you want, you always can meet international people. I'm Shivam, I'm from India. So this is the first time I'm, at, I'm attending this session. But I believe it's a great place to be here because this is a platform where we can meet people from different ideas, sit together and there's this community kind of a feeling which is being provided at this platform. So I feel I'm very lucky. And in Dublin we have this place where we can meet with people with so many different ideas, cultures and backgrounds. And this international meetup helps us bring people together. We can find people with different with dif different culture but similar interests and we can find friends, host events together in the future and also find the love life of our life. Networking, improving your English, meeting new people, making new friendships, getting to know another languages, playing a sport. You're just thinking about a lot of things to improve and to add to the meetups, yeah? Yeah, exactly. I mean, at the end, uh, I am uh, like another other person here. I'm from another country, I'm from Spain. And I arrived here uh, almost two years ago in the context of the lockdown. But uh, uh, COVID apart, I think that uh, there's a lot of people who are coming here and they are new in the town. They don't know anyone. They want to make friends, but they don't know how. So. I'm thinking in these people's uh, shoes. Like, okay, uh, I'm relocated here, I like to play tennis, I like to play football, to learn languages, so what I will do? I'm trying to have this emphatic situation with the people helps me a lot to get new ideas. Where are you from and your name? My name is Adriane, I'm from Brazil. I believe that Meetup is amazing because I can improve my English and make new friends. I learn about new culture, new accountants, new behavior because I'm a psychologist. Yeah, I think it's amazing for myself and my job. So for you, it's it's good to get to know different thought, like different mindsets. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
Let's talk about uh, numbers because this meetup you started, as you said, during the pandemic and it kept growing. And honestly, like every weekend, there's 50 plus people, 80 plus people. It's magic. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's, it's madness. It's, it's completely mad. Uh, I remember the first event, it was at the end of June 2021 in a rainy day in Dublin, which is not a surprise, but it was a rainy day uh, in Phoenix Park. We were 30 people. Uh, right now, in this moment, there's coming more and more people. Every Saturday, we are getting plus 70. I mean, it's, uh, I'm looking uh, for several places because I think people like diversity. But right now, I start facing some difficulties in terms of spaces are being too small to me. My name is Rahul and I am from India, Mumbai. Basically, I've been uh, on a good few meetups over here. And I think the best part about this meetup is there is no a speci there's not a specific criteria of people you're going to meet. You meet a lot of people from different fields, from different countries. And it's a good form of interaction and getting to know different cultures in a very short period of time. So far, I've really enjoyed being here and uh, it has increased my understandings of, you know, different kind of people, different cultures from various backgrounds. I made uh, a good friends here. I have uh, uh, friends from Brazil, Portugal, Spain, Pakistan. Yeah, they are so friendly. And even though if they are maybe not that uh, confident with the English, they try. Uh, so I, I like like there's no judgment because of uh, accent or mistakes. And they they truly try to make you talk like. Um, yeah, to don't, don't be quiet or shy. Um, they are so nice. Like maybe se people said that Irish people are more closed or shy, but here they are so open to really talk. So I like it. I was here filming a little bit, and I saw Eric handling everything by himself. Like get receiving the people that started. Like the meetup is going on and. Uh, new people are coming, so Eric is like everywhere trying to change the meetup tables because you have to change at a certain point to get to know other people. So he's like with everything. Like, well, that it's a pleasure. I mean, uh, I recognize that some people tells me, "Okay, Eric, why you don't join us to this table?" But I say, "Okay, and I'm going to after the event because somebody must be in chairs. Somebody must be careful because at the end." Uh, I want people feeling comfortable. I want people having fun, having the opportunities to meet people. I'm checking how is the atmosphere because there are some kind of rules through. Like I'm gonna change tables around 30, 40 minutes, but if I see that there are some tables that they are like quiet or they are not feeling so comfortable, I try to speed up this. At the end, the most important thing to me is that the people are having fun and having this opportunity and having an unforgettable experience. Vibe is very positive, very, very positive. So I would always tell people to come here and sit. And if they're shy, this is a place where they can open up. So if you're a shy kind of person, this is your platform where you can also open up and become an extrovert kind of a person where you can have this confidence to meet different people and uh, be confident in life. So it's a very wonderful place to be in. Tell us what if people there in the other side of the screen are looking at this video. What do they have to do to join, to be part of this meetup? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, there is this meetup is published on the on the meetup.com. The names group is uh, New in Dublin. Meet people from all over the world, and all the events are posted there. Also, all the information. There is also a second group. Uh, it's quite new. I made it for hosting also some kind of sports events where I encourage people to watch, for example, Champions League. Uh, there is also as well uh, one Telegram group, which uh, there is no less than 1,400 people, where this Telegram group is basically just to see the list, to get the updates for the meetup. Uh, there is also as well for language change. 
I'm going to make a spoiler. There's going to be a website. I'm already working on it several ways, but right now the mainly way to find it is on meetup.com. So Eric, tell us a little bit about the events that are going on. For now, every Thursday there is a language exchange. In this language exchange we have uh, several languages. We have Spanish, Polish, German, Russian, Italian, French, Portuguese and finally English. I might gonna add some other languages. Normally I keep going some kind of service where I encourage people to participate because uh, the most important thing is how, what the people want. But yes, all the tables are half of the time Spanish, for example, half of the time in English. Except the English table, which is full English for other people, let's say from countries such as uh, Tunisia, from China, Turkey, where they want only to improve their English. That's one of the events. On Saturdays, every Saturday, there is an international meetup. It's about socializing. This is like the, the core actually we are in this uh, event. Uh, what else? There is also the football events for Champions League, uh, World Cup in Qatar, uh, maybe for the Six Nations of Rugby or whatever people want. Uh, theme parties as well, once per month, and an event where we are discussing like about some topics, for example, accommodation problem in Dublin or what's the, their experience living abroad, maybe about the climate change, I don't know, there's going to be several topics. There is as well a table tournament, uh, tournament once per month again where people can get a racket and also some tennis balls. Um, and yes, I know there is these events. May gonna add some of them in the future, but I uh, have to find a way to make it. Usually after the meetup, we plan to go out and hang around somewhere. So that's what uh, keeps me coming back again. Uh, some most of the times I meet people who are into same professional background as me, and then we can get after this meetup and talk about work and everything. Did you meet Irish people as well? Like yeah, actually, uh, I have been like in three tables. In two of them, there was Irish people. One, at least one. So both uh, achieved. I win three friends with. I mean, two friends with me because I didn't want you to come alone. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was cool. I like it. So if you want to join this meetup and all the events related to this, I'm gonna leave you in the description below all the links, important links that you can click and join and be part of it here. Um, some people even suggested to you that establishing some speed dating kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And I must say, it, it's not coming for gu from guys only. It's coming also from girl, from woman. It's something that I'm thinking constantly. He doesn't sleep. <laughs> I don't sleep. <laughs> that's true. Thinking about new ways of meetups, you know, like. <laughs> Actually, Obsessed. some people could tell you that I don't sleep for this. I can tell you this. <laughs> Speed dating, it's an interesting idea, true. And I will be so happy if there are some people who find the, the, uh, the couple, the partner here, of course. Which it happened. Which it happened. And I'm aware that it's not only in my personal case, not only in this. Uh, but yes, I will be happy, but organizing an event for this I must think about the uh, good and against. Mm -hmm. Any quick story of love you want to mention, if it's possible to mention? Well, uh, yeah, actually it's about last year. It's exactly one year ago. I remember that there was an Irish girl that she was coming here quite often. And, you know, people sometimes say quite discreet or maybe I was too busy, who knows. But the story is that uh, there were, I'm put sitting people on the tables and suddenly this girl was disappeared. And after some time, I phoned her, I was talking, hey, how are you? It's been for a long time. She, oh, you know, I met this guy on the meetup, he's wonderful, and I've been so busy. And if I know Brown, she just got her kid soon. Uh, oh, I think that she got it or she's gonna get. So, yeah. The kid, a kid. Oh, yeah, things in Ireland go very fast. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I remember the stories about the language. So, this person, if you can put me in another table because mm, this person made some comments that I don't like, yeah. But I must say something, it's been more than 100 events that I've been hosting. And in any, absolutely any event, there is not any, not even a fight, even a hard discussion, no, anything happened. Some people they like, didn't like other people, true, happened. 
but any problem, absolutely any problem, and that's something that I'm really, really grateful with people. Hope you enjoyed this video here in this meetup. Thanks to Eric for creating all these events and inviting us, and it's always fun to come. I will leave you the Instagram of the meetup here. And I will leave you my own Instagram here. And I'll see you sooner than later, or later than sooner, with a new video.